Ja. So, okay, hier läuft das Mikro ran. Hans Wochinger. Okay. Well, Matt, uh, first of all, welcome to Munich, welcome to Bavaria, nice to have you here. Um, what have you already known about <laughs> German ice hockey, Germany, and what's your first impression of hockey in your team? Yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting to be here. We, uh, we came in Sunday and uh, we're just getting the, the kids and adjust to the time change. So getting used to the sleeping at night is uh, the first thing, but uh, you know, we, we've heard nothing but good things uh, about Germany as a whole, just from friends that have lived here and played here. Um, and then to be able to, to play in Munich for the Red Bull, I think it's, uh, can't get better than that in Germany. So we're really excited to be here and uh, enjoy this experience. After incredible uh, over 1,000 uh, games in the NHL, you decided to start a new adventure here in Germany. So, what was the reason for that? Um, me and my wife have always talked about uh, coming overseas uh, when when uh, we were done in, in North America uh, in the NHL. So, uh, this year we we sat a bit in the summer and and, and waited and talked and uh, weighed all our um, our options and opportunities and we. Uh, you know, we, we, we have a newborn at home, uh, seven weeks old and three-year-old, and we thought, you know, let's go do this. Uh, let's go live in, in Germany and Europe and, and see what it's all about because, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of travel in North America. And, and um, you know, I had a, a good run there, played a long time, so this is always something we wanted to do. Uh, Munich is champion for three times in a row. Um, I think you're going to do the, fir uh, the fourth time. Uh, yeah. So is it your goal? Yeah, there's there's no room for error. Eh? It's championship or nothing here. So it's it's great coming to uh, the top team in the league. Uh, you can see just walking into the dressing room, um, you know why they've won championships. You know the whole organization, the way they they handle themselves and treat the players. Uh, it's a, it's a good bond, and um, it's no surprise that they've been successful. So I'll try and come in uh, and and fit right in. And um, you know I know. I played with Johnny Mitchell in, in, in Toronto uh, like seven years ago, so there's some familiarity there, and, and I know new, he's new here, so uh, you know it's a it's a good group. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, well, Matt, um, when we go back into youth, I, I think some classmates were jealous or teammates because you signed with Toronto. Um, <laughs> Uh, you, you grew up a few miles from Toronto, so what was it uh, for an emotion for you? Yeah, that was uh, it was incredible. I, you know, lucky. I think you have you go into the NHL draft. There's 31 teams now, and and whatever team picks you, you you become their property. And you know, uh, I was fortunate. You know, Toronto took me, and, and I got to play in, in my hometown. Um, you know, it's probably like a lot of the local Germans that, that come up through the Red Bull system. Um, you know, I got to do that right in Toronto, and uh, it came out of nowhere. I, uh, it, was, it was surprising for everybody, and it was definitely, uh, you know, something I'll cherish uh, forever. You had a very successful time in Toronto, but also in, in Calgary, where you um, were traded to, but also a very sad time in your life when your yep. um, youngest son died. Um, you quit playing hockey for two weeks, but then stood again on the ice. Uh, was it a necessi uh, necessity for you um, to, to play again, or were there thoughts, um, okay, I quit it all, uh, I won't play hockey? Yeah, I, uh, you know what, we, we love our time in Calgary and in Toronto, and then um, living in Calgary, we, we went through a tough time, we lost our, our first son, and um, yeah, there's some things in life are, are, are very important, as anybody with children knows, so I stepped away for, for two, three weeks, and uh, the team was fine with that, and um, they said whenever you're ready to come back, uh, you come back. And I th think to properly move forward and, and start feeling better about everything, you have to move on. And coming to the rink and being around, uh, you know, your second family, which is your teammates, uh, helped that um, healing process. And um, you know, it's really, uh, you know, given me a new perspective on, on life and, and how to look at things. And me and my wife. Uh, are very uh, conscious of that and um, family first for everything. Former teammate of you said um, you will see the true worth of, of Matt when he's away from the club because <laughs> uh, you're very important for the younger players but also someone who uh, can, well, uh, be quite loud in the cabin <laughs> if, it, if it doesn't yeah. work uh, as you want it. Is it true? Yeah, I try and speak my mind. Uh, you know, you just, you 
being in the game a long time, you learn how to approach things, and uh, you know you, you know when you, you have to say something to, to give someone a push, to give the guys a push, and uh, you know when you sometimes need to pull a guy aside and just give him a little pep talk. It's it's just kind of feeling it out. Um, so as I get more comfortable here and to get to know the guys, for sure, I'll, I'll want to be uh, one of the leaders in the room. Um, you know, first I got to feel my way in here and. Um, that's definitely something important to me. I think if you have a good dressing room and, and you take care of each other off the ice, it translates. And I think they got that going here, uh, you know, seeing the results the last uh, three years. So last question, who was the idol in your uh, youth? Um, I grew up loving Doug Gilmore. Uh, and then I loved Matt Sundin. And then I had a chance to play with Matt Sundin uh, for four years in Toronto. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, I always looked up to those guys. and. Got to learn from them, and uh, those are my, my favorites. Okay, thanks for the yeah. interview, and good luck. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.